everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to have a flip through through my traveler's notebook I know many of you have been asking me lots of questions it's early in the morning and you're having coffee with me so go ahead and grab stop the video grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink tea whatever you drink water <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a flip through today this is gonna be my video for day four of a video a day for July I hope you are enjoying all of the creativity this month on YouTube um, I know there are several ladies joining me and it's just amazing watching all these videos I'm actually kind of quite behind because I didn't watch any videos yesterday so now I have a playlist of tons of videos to catch up on so I'm super excited about that um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this so first um, the kind of traveler's notebook that I have is um, Webster pages and it's in the mint color and this just goes around like that the elastic and the little tag on it says a planner girl and so um, that is what it looks like <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me so here you'll see that I have some little clips sitting here this is I guess my I don't know what this is called I'm not really technically like I don't know uh, technical I guess I guess this would be a dashboard I'm not sure but I have some pretties from Heidi Swap and then my um, shaker tag that I made I put it in this clear pocket so you can see it and it's really pretty I love it and then I have this pretty um, Maggie Holmes floral die cut right here just kind of sticking out. And then I have my planning stickers that fit in here um, in this little pocket right there. And then right here I have my coffee clip. And then on to this is my planner. I never did like a, a front page, so I'm not quite sure I probably should but this is my shaker dashboard that I made for Spiegel Mom Scraps um, guest designer in June I still have that on there really like it <clears throat> excuse me and I guess I could like I don't know put something on there <laughs> I don't know but this is like my planning um, insert and this is from um, scrapping wonders Dot com the design team that I'm on and so I made this little clip um, this was just a bow that I got like it came in a pack um, from Hobby Lobby and then just a paper clip that I had I don't even know where the paper clip came from and I just hot glue it's not really pretty on the back side um, a lot of people put like ribbon and stuff on it but I don't really care um, so I just hot glued it on there and then I just keep it on the week that I'm on so it's easy to find and easy to flip to. And then my next insert is my Everyday Memories insert. Um, it's a week in my life. And so you guys have seen every single one of these layouts, but I'll just quick do a flip through of these. If you haven't seen these, go back on my channel and um, watch them because they're super fun. They give lots of helpful ideas of how to do some things. And I did um, my journaling on this giant tag and I made a little pocket which I really really like the way that looks did some embossing and stamping on here um, this cute um, cream and sugar collection from doodle bug doodle <laughs> is really pretty and then this page I used the Chanel little by little collection and then just some like random random embellishments that I had die cuts laying around and then um, I did a tip in on this page with lots of journaling and then I did another tip in on this page um, with some journaling with hidden journaling so it's kind of you know hidden <laughs> and I used acrylic paint on this background and this paper is from Simple Stories uh, Carpe Diem collection I believe and then this last one, this video went up yesterday, so um, hopefully you guys have watched that. But if you haven't, here's like a little peek of it. And I used the Petals and Bloom collection from Hobby Lobby, the paper, for the homemade embellishment and then the corners. 
and then I used some Girl Squad from Pebbles um, Elements and uh, a stamp and some stickers from me and my big ideas and this one was super fun creating um, so yeah but that's it for that one and then moving on to this one this is the insert that my actual um, Webster pages notebook came with it comes with one insert when you buy it and I have a clip on here on the front and I used my gold wink of Stella <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry I used my gold wink of Stella to um, kind of fill in the hello it was embossed on the front cover and then I used a heart a thicker um, heart for right there so for this one this insert is kind of like my art journal insert I guess um, I just have fun I did some stamping for the you are awesome and I used another one of those heart thickers and then I used the Amy 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 tangerine um, little technique that I saw her do on one of her videos with watercolors and sh a straw so you put the watercolors on and then you blow with a straw and then they just go kind of everywhere so I did that and then I don't have the I don't have any process videos for any of this because my art journal is like I just sit down to play it's not I don't film myself doing it I just try to have fun and I'm gonna use it for like art journaling and then like inspirational quotes or things that just make me kind of happy so this one I just thought was really cute and it's from the domestic bliss collection from simple stories and it says both of us can't look good at the same time it's me or the house <laughs> so I kind of feel like that sometimes um, and then with this page, I actually did while I was traveling, I took like some stuff with me to my cousin's wedding and um, in the hotel, well, on the way to Maryland from North Carolina, I did the background and then um, in the hotel, I put the stickers and such, the words and letters on there. So I really love the way that that one turned out. It says, when in doubt, create pretty things. And then this one oh, is my favorite. I did this um, the day after I hit 3,000 subscribers. I was just so blown away and so happy and excited. And I really wish I would have done a video for this because I absolutely love this page. I love the way it turned out. Um, I do have a gallery on scrapbook.com if you guys want to go there. I post the pictures from my traveler's notebook um, kind of things. Um, and if you guys would like to see videos like this, I know a lot of you have said more mixed media videos would be nice. So I might try, since I'm doing so many videos this month, I might try to do like um, a traveler's notebook art journal page for you guys because this was a lot of fun to create, but it, there are going to be longer videos. I will tell you that because this took me quite a while um, with all the drying and stuff in between. So, but if you guys would like to see like videos like like these just um, leave it in the comment below and let me know and actually let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see this month because I've got a kind of a plan for most days but some days I'm just I have blank so uh, if there's any certain videos that you guys would like to see me do just let me know in the comments um, so I use my gesso for the background and then I did some smushing with delusions um, sprays and I put a doily, my favorite doily. <laughs> I put that down right in the middle. And then I used a die cut that I cut out on my Cricut. And I actually sprayed, no, I painted it with the spray. Um, half one color and half the other color. And then I put some, let me see, what is it? I put some of this sparkling snow glitter um, from Sparkle and Sprinkle. I actually got this at the Scrapbook Expo last year as like a freebie and I never used it. Um, and it's just been sitting here on my desk so I put it over top of the Dream and it also came with the um, Sparkle Brushable Glue which I used. So it really worked really well, it's really pretty. And then I just put 3,000 subscribers and then I just put some little like um, word phrase stickers that I really thought were cute. So it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I am unstoppable. Can't wait to see what's around the corner. Don't worry, be happy. Inspired, a peace within. So this page just makes me happy. You know, if there, if you 
hit a big milestone like when I hit this big milestone I really honestly didn't think that it was gonna happen um, I never really um, it makes me like emotional thinking about it but I never really thought that that many people would actually care about what I was doing um, so I wanted to remember this and I wanted to remember that you know I I can follow my dreams and I'm inspired by all of you and all of you know the people that I follow and I'm glad that I inspire some people and I just have to remember that I am good enough and people do like me. <laughs> like, it's just, oh, I just love this page. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> so that's all that I have done there so far. And I did a lot of mixed media on this and this paper from Webster Pages is super thin. Um, so I'll probably glue those two together. Um, so then on to my next insert or my last insert and this one is from Scrapping Wonders um, from my design team as well and I she did the custom monogram here on the front page for me which was super sweet of Beth and so I used my gel pens that I got from a giveaway um, from Spiegel Mom Scraps to color that up to make it all pretty and I have a magnet um, bookmark I guess for the page that I'm on. And so what I'm doing to keep track of all of my videos for this month, I am, um, I marked off every single day of the month and I am using it for that. So when I have a, so on Monday, the 17th I have a scrapping wonders design team video that has to be out so I'm putting it there so I know that I have to do it um, on Thursdays you don't know yet but we're gonna be doing throwback Thursday videos um, on Tuesday or on this Wednesday on the 19th I want to do a traveler's notebook everyday memories video so as I get video ideas I am writing them down in here and I have them numbered off and sectioned off with my pretty washi tape which is super fun so that's just gonna help me keep track of all of these videos that I'm doing because I'm a crazy lady um, but yeah so that is oh and I have my little pretty pin here off to the side and if I'm being honest it's really pretty and it's really pretty that's about it I don't like the way it writes um, I use this pen the most and it was actually recommended by a couple planner girl videos that I watch and it is the let me see hold on let me get the right name Frickson Frickscion ball pen and it's from pilot here's what it looks like and it's erasable you guys it has an eraser and it I love it I freaking love it this has come to the rescue quite a few times um, especially with my meal planning um, on my in my big planner that I'm menu planning that has been a lifesaver let's be honest it really has because I'll switch things around a lot and most of the time or I used to just like scribble it out but now I can erase it so that's super nice and yeah so that is my traveler's notebook it's super chunky and um, I really love the way it's working out for me so far um, I love the way it looks it's very functional um, I just really enjoy it so I hope you guys enjoyed this short video um, if you did please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel I will leave a list below of some of the supplies that I use in my traveler's notebook if you guys want to check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!